Hello, this is Jakob from Cable Guys, giving you a short introduction on how to set up our new upcoming effect MIDI shaper with any of your VST instruments or effects. We'll use Genobrass for this presentation. First of all, we need two tracks. We need one track to set up MIDI shaper in and one track for the instrument. So let's insert a new MIDI track. And it's important that the MIDI track that MIDI shaper is located in is playing the actual melodies. So let's drag it in. Here we go. And But first of all, let's do some notes on the track. Okay, we'll do a very simple melody, one note. <laughs> and we have on the other track, we set up our synthesizer, Genobas. And this one receives the MIDI signal from the other channel. So we say monitor in MIDI from, let's rename it, MIDI Shaper. MIDI from channel MIDI shaper and there from the MIDI shaper thing. Okay, wonderful. Now let's add some action to it. Open MIDI shaper. Yep. And let's root. Um, so we have here a waveform which is used by its LFO and we can root that. Source to pitch, mod reel, aftertouch, or any MIDI CC number. We'll use pitch first. With a loop bar of one. Here we go. Now let's say we do the same thing. We want to uh, modulate some cutoff. So I open this plugin, select a MIDI CC number. Let's just take the first one. So, cutoff is now receiving um, MIDI control values on control value zero. So, let's say uh, no pitch, but instead choose CZ or zero. Here we go. That's it. Thanks for listening and watching.